he's he's very interesting and uh, yeah i just was uh, we'll have to ask him you know where where did the bill parcells thing come in but yeah I, what a great idea and i i think there's probably a lot of teams that have you know you have teams where you you name one of your coaches the assistant head coach like mm-hmm. for you know for uh cliff uh i'm sorry clint clint hurt last year they he was the assistant head coach yeah, but tom cable was the assistant head coach that's right yeah so i mean and i think pete used to do that because pete was amazing at developing coaches and getting them out there like mm-hmm. he didn't he didn't ever there's a lot of coaches that will be like no i don't want you know I don't want him to leave here, so you know I'm gonna, I'm not gonna give him an assist, assistant head coach. I'm not gonna encourage him, and I'm not gonna teach him anything. And Pete did that. He he did that to a, a few, more than a few coaches. So I really admire that. But that idea of having just a, a guy who is just sort of all the things that maybe you forgot mm-hmm. as a head coach because you have so much to do. I asked I asked Mike McDonald one of the questions I asked him was like, Are you gonna turn your brain off and have any fun or anything he's like no 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 fun no i don't have any time i mean i think he said maybe go golf and you know i think uh, he said something about taking his wife with him but i mean other than that that's that's it well and they all you know when you hear them talk they talk about starting off behind the eight ball timing wise so maybe there's just a sense of yeah this is we're learning we're figuring this out because we haven't done it at this level and we started later than you otherwise would want to. Right. So they, there's an urgency to, you know, cramming for a test, so to speak, is is how it sounds when you hear them talk. Yeah. So we'll, we'll I, I think they're going to be fine. I think they're they're going to have all their bases covered, uh, and they're going to learn on the job, and Leslie Frazier will be a, a, a huge piece of that, helping them get through the, the rough spots, if you will. And he described uh, how he and McDonald have talked a lot about uh, getting guys to care more about winning as opposed to their own individual stats. Mm-hmm. One of the examples I gave when I was talking with the players uh, uh, and, and when Mike asked me to speak, Kenny Walker, who's an outstanding running back with the Seahawks and has done a, a terrific job in, in, in his career. I said, there may come a time where Kenny may end up with six carries for 30 yards, mm-hmm. but the Seahawks won the game. Can Kenny be good with that? Can he be okay with that uh, and say, you know what? We won, man. And if we win, we're all going to benefit. And as you said, Daniel, it's harder to, 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 to get that done than it is to say it. But if you can get a group of guys to buy into that, I mean, there's so much talent in the league. That's the intangible sometimes that gets you over the top. That, that seems like it'd be a hard sell. Yeah, it, people will agree. They'll say, I'm on board. But individually, there are going to be guys that are going to, I'm not saying Ken Walker, but just to use his example, say there is a game where he had six carries and 25 yards or 20 yards or whatever it was. It was but 30. They won, or 30, whatever. whatever. Not, a, not a stellar night as far as the stat sheet goes, but they won. How, how how much tolerance do those guys have? They're like, okay, that game, that's fine, but let's not make a habit of this. Well, I, <laughs> I would go to him and say, you get a five-yard average. You're fine. Is six, yeah. times, uh, six times five, is that still 30? That'd be 35. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Scared him there. <laughs> I was I was afraid for you, Bob. <laughs> he looked at me and go, huh? <laughs> I was scared uh, for you. Um, yeah, still 30. Still remains 30. But Well, and that's the other thing is that people will go, oh, you averaged five yards. Why didn't you give him the ball more? <laughs> you know, but. But if know. they win, which is, you know, like we were talking about with the Mariners in that White Sox series, not pretty, could have been swept, one, three, or four, bottom line business, you, you did what you needed to do. Right. Well, and that's why he's talking about, and I think a lot of people might go, oh, well, you know, why isn't he talking more about the scheme or this and that? And the more I hear from him, the more you start to, because there's a bunch of clips from that that podcast um, that he's kind of talking about team building more than anything else and, like, being okay. And he mentioned that earlier about the defense. You know, you have to be okay with this guy got three interceptions and I didn't get any. And, you know, same thing with, with Ken Walker in that situation. So... It just sounds like that's going to be kind of a theme, and it, it, it's kind of cool. I mean, because you, you would think when you come in, like, I'm going to establish my culture here, but, like, it's probably going to take a while. Mm-hmm. And let's just get the X's and O's down, and yet you got Leslie Frazier again, and I think Mike is doing all that. And you see he's heavily um, involved in the defense 
Um, we talked about all the, you know, the hand signals and things yeah. like that, you know, that they were doing out at camp. And, you know, and then and it brings to question, you know, like how much access are the fans going to have this year? You know, are they going to want uh, a bunch of fans out there watching them install their new offense and their new defense? It'll be interesting to see. But, yeah, it just seems like with Leslie Frazier, I thought he would be talking more about, hey, we need to get, you know, this meeting done and this meeting and get this, you know, technique and that. And he's talking more about the guys getting along as as teammates. And, you know, uh, everybody makes a lot of money. There's a lot of egos. And so that's got to be kind of a kind of a tough sell there. Like yeah, you said. I, would, I would say that is a huge challenge for him and Coach McDonald, everybody there to get everybody to be selfless Yeah, in a game that, you you don't you're not there for long you know that's the NFL not for long, and everybody there understands understands their window to to make as much money as they can is very short and I got to put up my numbers because yeah. I'm playing for that next contract so the idea of being satisfied on a regular I could see one game you know some guy Ken Walker again six carries thirty yard he's gonna be fine if they win but if that's week in week out hey you had eight carries this game you had eleven here and then you went back to seven in this one. At some point, I could see somebody grousing, going, hey, what are we doing here? Yeah, well, and it's interesting because Mike asked the question here, you know, where do you think he's going to have the biggest impact on this team? And I just thought, okay, that's going to be awesome help for just all the technical things for, you know, for Mike McDonald. But really, it sounds more like he's talking about kind of the the spirit of, of these guys.